Hey guys, come on downstairs. We're playing a little UC Santa Barbara Gauchos Dynasty here today. We're in year number two, playing game 37 on the road in Stockton, California to face the Pacific Tigers. But first off, let's do a few non-conference games here. First uh, against St. Mary's. They are 12-19. and 19. We are 10-23. and 23. We've got Sosinski going today. He's 2-6 and six with a 3.67 ERA. All right, St. Mary's takes the lead early in this one. They lead 1-0. We're in the fourth. As we uh, quick manage this, they go on to a 4-2 lead in the seventh. And they have blown it out to an 8-2 lead. And that is the final score. Gibbs with the win for them. So Sinski gets the loss. And we move on to game number 35. Uh, we are 10 and 24. Hutchins will start here today. He's 1 and 7 with a 5.47 ERA. As we get this one underway, St. Mary's jumps out to a 4 1 lead in the third. And now out to a 6 to 1, now 7 to 1 lead in the sixth. 9 to 1, Casanova out. We had a big home run to get back into it, 9 to 6. Now it's 10 to 6, 11 to 6. That's the ball game. So we dropped two games to the St. Mary's Gales out of the West Coast Conference. And Casanova has been suspended for six games for his part in an altercation. In that past game, Garter has been suspended for three games for poor academic performance. So we are going to be a little bit short on the pitching side of things for a few games. Uh, Gene Reed will start this one here as we open up the series against Pacific. On the road, this is game number one of the series. 36th game of the regular season here as we going to kind of go fast through year number two as we try to recruit and build this program into a winner. It's not happening overnight for us, that's for sure. So the Gauchos get the win in game number one. In game number two, we have Garland going up against uh, Sean Sovsinski. We are 11-25, and 25, and the Tigers of Pacific are 10-24. and 24. And this is the game we're going to play. We're at Stockton, California. University of the Pacific Tigers versus the UC Santa Barbara Gauchos. And we get it underway here in the first inning. Aaron Garland, the starter for the Tigers today, making his ninth appearance. He's 3-4 and four with 4.01 ERA. 24 strikeouts, 23 walks. He's given up 52 hits. So hopefully we can get some offense against this pitcher for Pacific. The leadoff hitter is Zerby, and he strikes out swinging. The next hitter is Sorgi, our right fielder, and he strikes out looking. Let's look at the batting order. we got Zerby and Sorgi. Helton's hitting 279 with three home runs. Colter Nari, 242 with five home runs. McConnell, 259 with three home runs. Valderrama, Barba, Maldonado, and Haynes round out the batting order for your Gauchos. This is Helton. Helton skies one in foul territory. The pitcher comes over, and Garland makes the catch. All right, we are sending out Sean Sosinski today. Two and seven. ERA is a, a respectable 3.99. The record doesn't reflect how well he's pitched. Not getting much offense from his teammates. The batting order for the, the Pacific Tigers. Look at the third guy in the order, Revelette. 336 with 11 home runs. He's having a fantastic year for the Tigers, who are otherwise having a forgettable second season here of this MVP 06 NCAA Baseball Dynasty. All right, first batter gets on for the Tigers. Second batter grounds it up the middle for a base hit, so not a great start for Subsinski already. And that brings up Chris Revelette. 99 power rating against righties. He's going to chop it towards second. Helton on to Maldonado, and the relay to first is not in time. So we've got runners on the corners now for Carson Bautista. With one out, Bautista lifts this one deep to right. Sorgi's going back. Is he going to get there? No, he's not. It one hops the wall. One run scores. The runner at first is rounding third and heading to the plate. And Bautista into second with a two RBI double. Here's Justin Tavares now. Tavares lifts this one to left. Could be trouble. It's going to be fair. And it's huge trouble. Rolls around the wall back towards center field. Good thing Zerby was there. And he gets it back in. And keeps it from being an inside the park home run. It does score another run though, and it's three to nothing Pacific. Subsinski getting a little visit from the manager, and that one's not going to be deep enough to score the run. So we've got two outs for Kerry McHenry, the shortstop for the Tigers. He's going to chop this one to third. Barba on to first. 
for the final out of the top of the first inning. We move to the second now. Actually, it was the bottom of the first inning. My bad. Nate Coltrinari now, top of the second. 1-2 count. Delivery from Garland. Swings and misses. Now we have Jesse McConnell, left fielder. Pitch from Garland. This one's lifted to straightaway center, and it's going to drop in front of Tavares. And it's a base hit for the Gauchos, first of the night. Rocky Valderrama, the catcher. Valderrama batting a meager 120 on the season. And he goes down. Bar Barba now. Two outs, runner on first. Barba's going to pop it into foul territory. Revelette goes over, and he makes the catch for the final out of the top of the second. Three to nothing Pacific. Bottom of the second coming up with Tim Bard, the third baseman, leading things off. Not great batting numbers. He's going to lift one to right, though. Sorgi is there. Squeezes it with the left hand for out number one. Now we get Jeff Torrealba, the right fielder. And Torrealba grounds it left side. Barba on to first. Plenty of time. And it brings up Alejandro Muth, the leadoff guy for the Pacific Tigers. Muth, the lefty, draws the walk on a breaking ball that does not catch the back door. And Jesse Briggs will be up now for Pacific. Runner on first with two outs. This one is going to be lined into left for a base hit. McConnell will cut it off. Keep Briggs to a single. Now we have Chris Revelette with two outs, a guy we don't want up with runners on base. And McConnell is going to flag this one down in left. To end the second inning, no damage done. It's still three to nothing. Tigers with the lead. We go to the third. Scott Maldonado, the shortstop, up now. Maldonado batting 234 on the air. He takes ball one. We'll show you every pitch here of the third inning. In this one, one one count delivery from Garland. This one's driven pretty high and deep to right, but it is played there by Tori Alba for the Tigers. Corey Haynes now. First baseman. And a little bit of a glitch there. Sorry. I don't have the best um, Elgato capture card in the world. It's actually probably the worst, the cheapest. So every once in a while I get these, these uh, bad footage things that I have to cut out. And Haynes strikes out. That'll bring up Jim Zerby, the leadoff guy, with two outs here in the top of the third. Zerby, change up. 1-1 one, one count, delivery from Garland. This one inside. Catches the corner, though. It's a 1-2 delivery. Swung on and missed the two-seamer. And Garland goes 1-2-3 in the third. Carson Bautista will lead off the bottom of the third for UOP. Still 3 to nothing. Pacific. And this one grounded towards third. Barb has been kind of busy over there defensively. He makes the play over to first for the out. That'll bring up Justin Tavares. And this one swung on and missed. 0-1 delivery is high. This one fouled off. 1-2 with one out. Lifted to right. Sorgi heading towards the right field line. Is he going to get there? He's not, and it bounces fair. Sorgi's able to cut it off, but it's going to be a double. For Tavares, that'll bring up the catcher, Oscar Tanigawa. Tanigawa swings and misses. Runner in scoring position. Pacific looking to tack on another run. And this one, Helton's able to flag it down. That'll keep Tavares at second. Kerry McHenry, the shortstop now. Takes the curveball on the inside corner. 1-0-2 delivery. Swung on and missed. End of the third, it's still 3 to nothing on 6 hits for UOP. One hit is all that the Gauchos have mustered to this point. Here's Gene Sorgi now, the right fielder. 0 for 1 today, struck out earlier. He's batting 276 on the year, and he's going to pop one up to the right side. My goodness, the footage of this game was terrible. Jeremy Helton, 3-2 with one out. Swung on and missed for the second out, Nate Coltrinari now. Pacific working on a one-hitter here in the second. This one's lifted towards left. That one could have a chance to drop. It does in front of the left fielder, Muth. And the runner going towards second is going to be thrown out. Oh, trying to get into scoring position with two outs. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that hustle there by the Gauchos. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Helton back across his body makes the play. 
and that'll bring up Jeff Torrealba. 375 hitter on the season for the Tigers. These are probably the two worst teams in the Big West Conference. Zerby going back. This one's off the track and then into the wall. It's going to be at least a double. Runner rounding second. He's going to put on the brakes there. And hold up. Alejandro Muth now. Walked earlier in the day. Had a base hit. And this one's lifted towards left. McConnell coming in. He's not going to get there. And a runner's going to round third. Here's the throw. It is offline. And another Pacific run scores. Jesse Briggs will step in with one out. Bottom of the fourth. It's four to nothing. Pacific ground ball right side. Helton spins back to second to Maldonado. And that's the only play the Gauchos get. So Revelette will have a runner on first. He grounds it up the middle. Zerby. Runner rounding second. We've got runners on the corners now for the Tigers. Carson Bautista, the DH. He's one for two with a double and two RBIs today. He's going to ground it to third. Barba on to first. Makes the play. And that retires the side. Another run scored for Pacific. It's four to nothing at the end of four here in Stockton. Fifth inning. Jesse McConnell. One for one. 265 hitter. 0-2 delivery. Sinker swung on and missed. We still have... Savsinski in the game. He's given up four runs in four and a third innings to this point. This one grounded right up the middle for a base hit. Charging is Zerby. Oh, sorry, that was us batting. Charging was Tavares. And the Gauchos have a runner on first. This one slapped to the right side through the hole for a base hit. And maybe the Gauchos getting a little offense started here. Shortstop Scott Maldonado. 231 hitter. Swings, ground ball, could be two, on to third for one out, and there's no other play to be made for Santa Barbara. Here's Corey Haynes, first baseman, swung on and missed at the changeup, and that retires the side. We're halfway through the game here in Stockton. It's 4 to nothing. UOP. Justin Tavares will lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Ground ball left side, Barba. Barba on to first to Haynes, makes the play for the out, and we have Oscar Tanagawa at the plate now. Tanigawa lifts one to right. Sorgi heading towards the foul line. Makes the catch. For out number two, Kerry McHenry, the shortstop. 0-2 delivery. Chopped it off the uh, turf. And Subsinski makes the catch. But it was a ground ball. Runner is on first. And the runner was going with that pitch. But they're able to draw the walk. Here's Tori Alba with two outs. Runners on first and second. He's going to sky this one. Pop up on the right side. Haynes makes the catch. And that retires the Tigers in the fifth. We go to the sixth inning. Jim Zerby. 0 for 2 today. Two strikeouts. A 192 hitter. He's our leadoff guy. Not a great leadoff batting average. But he's going to get a base hit here into left. And he'll hold up there. It's still 4 to nothing. Pacific. Gene Sorgi. The runner on first and nobody out. Trying to keep the line moving. Swung on and missed. 0-2 count. And the two-seamer swung on and missed again for the first out. Jeremy Helton will step in now. First pitch to Helton. Grounded. Left side could be two. They elect to just go to first. And Bard makes the play over to Revelette. 1 0 count now. Runner on second. 3 0. We could be drawing a walk here. And we do. Walk is drawn there by Coltranari. That'll bring up Jesse McConnell, the left fielder. Takes the first pitch off the plate. It's five straight balls thrown by Garland. Four seam fastball called a strike. 1 2 delivery with two outs is high. And the four-seamer catches the inside corner, freezes him, and ends the inning. Alejandro, Alejandro Muth at the plate now. 2-0 delivery. Subsinski still pitching, I believe, here for the Gauchos. And Muth is going to drive one into the gap in left center field. McConnell will try to chase it down. Muth is going to be rounding second, heading to third. He's going to slam on the brakes halfway to third and get back to second. And that's going to be the end of the day for Sean Sosinski. So Sosinski comes out. We're going to bring on Yvonne Zayas, making his, uh, well, he's pitched 41 innings. He's 3-1 with a 5.05 ERA. Jesse Briggs now will step in. 
Runner on second. This one's in the dirt. Valderrama blocks it well. 1-0 count. 2-0 delivery now. This one into right. Sorgi's there. Runner will retreat back to second. And Chris Revelette, who's one for three on the day, has 11 home runs on the year for Pacific. And he's going to foul this one off to start the at-bat with one out. This one popped up to the right side. We'll take it any time Revelette wants to pop one up. Carson Batista now with two outs. Runner in scoring position. Two-seamer rides in on his knuckles. 0-1 delivery. High fastball taken for a strike. 0-2 delivery now. Cutter gets away from him. Here's the delivery from Zayas. Ripped into right field. It's going to one-hop Sorgi. Runner is going to round third. Head to the plate. Here comes the throw from Sorgi, and he got him. So thrown out at the plate will end the sixth inning. We go to the seventh. Rocky Valderrama, who applied the tag to the runner, will lead things off with an 0-1 delivery. He grounds it to the right side. And Revelette will step on the bag. Here's Barrett Barba, the third baseman, batting 125 on the season. This one chopped to the right side. Second out of the inning, Scott Maldonado, shortstop, 228 hitter, 0 for 2 today. 3-1 delivery with two outs, taken low for a walk. And we've got a runner on. This one popped up right side. Going back is Revelette. He's going to be there and makes the catch. So we stretch here in Stockton. Four runs on 12 hits for the Tigers. No runs on five hits for the Gauchos. Big West Conference Baseball here on Mama's Basement. Here's the walk. Issued by Yvonne Zayas. So nobody out and one on. Tonegawa is going to lift this one to left. McConnell retreating makes the catch. And the runner will have to head back to first with one out. Kerry McHenry, 358 hitter. At the plate. Here's the delivery. McConnell's going to be there. Make the catch. And we've got two outs for the third baseman, Tim Bard, a 206 hitter. And runner going. And he steals the base without a throw. And this one lifted to left. McConnell makes the catch. And that'll end the seventh. It's still four to nothing. UOP. We go to the eighth inning. We're not going to have a whole bunch more episodes in this season of UC Santa Barbara Gauchos baseball. I believe there will be four more after this one, and that will get us to the end of the season before we will start season number three. Here's the ground ball right side. For the out, Jeremy Helton comes to the plate now for the Gauchos. 1-2 delivery with two outs. He swings and misses. And that will retire the side. Middle of eight. It's still 4 to nothing. Pacific. We go to the bottom of the eighth now. Toriaba will lead things off. Toriaba line drive right back up the middle for a base hit. And Pacific has their leadoff guy aboard. Here is Muth now. Muth's going to line one into center. It'll drop in front of Zerby. And the first two batters of the inning are on for Pacific. Against Yvonne Zayas, line drive left side, Barba makes the catch. Here's Chris Revelette now. Best hitter for an otherwise not great Pacific team. Maldonado is going to be under an infill fly rule called. And that'll bring up Carson Batista, the DH. Two for four today, a pair of RBIs. And this one's lifted into center. Zerby's charging. He's not going to get there. Runner's going to round third. Here comes the throw from Zerby. It's going to stop the runner in his tracks. He'll back up. And the bases will be loaded for Justin Tavares. Tavares into center. Zerby can't make the catch. A run's going to score. Another one is rounding third. And will score without a throw. Oscar Tonegawa now. It's 6 to nothing Pacific. Bottom of the eighth. Helton makes the catch. So the Tigers tack on two. Six runs on 16 hits for Pacific. We go to the top of the ninth now. Final at bat for the Gauchos. Looking to put a run on the board if they can. Six to nothing, UOP. This is Coltrinari at the plate. He's DHing today. Ground ball right side, played by Briggs. On to Revelette for the out. And it'll bring up Jesse McConnell, the left fielder. 261 hitter, one for three on the day. And McConnell, ground ball to short. McHenry on to Revelette for out number two. And the Gauchos are down to their final out of the night. It is Valderrama, and Valderrama takes the changeup. 
And then fouls one off his foot. 1-1 one, one with two outs. Delivery popped up behind the plate. Tonegawa has it. And that is your ball game. Pacific earns the victory, ties up the series 1-1. One, one. And we'll have two more games with the Pacific Tigers after this. And uh, the third game of the series will be Hutchins against Helling. And we'll go ahead and try to squeeze that one in here. Get through it quickly, super quickly. And the Tigers get a 4 to nothing win, so they take a 2-1 series lead with one more game remaining in it. This one will be Reed for us against Kingsdale for the Tigers. And we'll speed through this one as well. And Pacific gets a 7 to 1 victory in that one. So Gene Reed gets the loss, he falls to 2 and 7. And the Tigers get the win. All right, let's look at the Big West standings. Cal Poly leading the conference at 8 and 3, Cal State Northridge at 7 and 4, Ful uh, Fullerton is 6 and 5. They are nationally ranked. Right now at 27 and 13 overall, UC Riverside 5 and 6, UC Irvine 5 and 6, Pacific 5 and 6, Long Beach State. They are 25 and 14 overall, but they're 4 and 7 in conference, and we are 4 and 7 as well. All right, that's it for episode number 17. UC Santa Barbara Gaucho's Dynasty. It's MVP 06 NCAA baseball here on Mama's Basement Sports Gaming.